God bless you, everybody. We greet you in the matchless name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties today, but it's all right anyhow. We're going to press on. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to press toward the mark of a high calling in Christ Jesus. Please mute your phone. So, amen. Everybody does not hear your noise and what's going on in the background. And, Amen and everything, but we thank God for everybody being with us. Amen. It's a co-op. Amen. We need everybody's cooperation. Amen. We and so that everybody can hear clearly. Amen. So thank you all for being with us. A new day, a new month. Amen. A brand new October. God bless you all in this new month of October. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we just thank God for the Blessings of the Lord that make it rich and addeth no sorrow to it. Thank you, prayer band, for being with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you all for joining us. Amen. Hallelujah. For this noonday prayer time. Hallelujah. That he has given to all of us. And so we just thank God for all the things that he has done. And we give him glory, honor, and praise for it is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people. <laughs> Excuse me. And the sheep of his pasture, we enter his gate with thanksgiving. We enter his courts with praise. We are thankful unto him and we bless his name. Hallelujah. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth through all generations. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Jackson says, amen. My son Zebedee birthday is today. Happy birthday, Mr. Zebedee. Amen. That's the amen. The, the, the John and James in the Bible. Amen. The sons of Zebedee. Amen. Hallelujah. That's that's in the that's in the book of Acts. Amen. Hallelujah. And we thank God for those that name that powerful name. Amen. Zebedee. And we thank God for his birthday today. Amen. And we thank God for him. And we thank God for all of you who have joined us today. Prayerfully, it will be a blessing to you. And you and you today, God gives me the scriptures. He gives me what I need to say to the people today. And today we're going to talk on the subject church math. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Church math. You won't need amen, a calculator. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, you won't need amen. Amen. To try to figure this out mathematically. It's not a math, a math class. Amen. It's just a lesson, Lord, given to me about how we give and what we give and why we give it. Amen. Hallelujah. And so to help us along on this journey of life. And and so we we really sometimes need to get an understanding and a refresher as to um, what we give and why we give it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, um, amen, it's, it's so important to understand God's perspective on things and God's will on things. Uh, I love science coming up when I was coming up as a young man. I love science. I, I was Trekkie. I uh, watched all the science classes and science videos and experiments and labs and different things. I wasn't that good in math, amen, at the time. Amen. So I passed all the general science and biology, chemistry. I loved all those classes. And so, but when I uh, joined physics, amen, they said, you want, you sure? They're looking at me like I'm crazy. You sure you want to join physics? I said, what's the next level up? I took general science, amen, earth science. I've taken um, uh, all the sciences. What's the next one? They said, well, uh, physics is the next one. What I didn't know, amen, hallelujah, was that physics is science mixed with mathematics. And because of my math skills wasn't that great, uh, then I, I had issues. Amen. I went and sat in the physics class and they handed us calculators. I said, man, we're going to pass this easy. I, how are you going to give me a class with a calculator? Hallelujah. So I knew I was going to fly through this class. Hallelujah. Amen. But I didn't know what was waiting on me. Jesus. Hallelujah. They were buttoning on those calculators that I didn't know what they were for. Hallelujah. I didn't understand what that button was for. Amen. So I, so before I could do the proper mathematics, 
and the and the experiments, the labs, I, I passed them with flying colors and all the, the water drops and different experiments that you had, centrifugal forces and, and kinetic energy and all the different things that we did in physics class. I, I passed those with flying colors, but when I had to put pen to paper and do formulas and, and break down the science of it, the, the actual uh, explanation of it mathematically, I couldn't do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I could not do it. And so um, when we really understand and perceive what it is that God wants from us um, in the numbers, in the numbers, some of us, we fail. We don't quite come up to, to par. We understand giving. We understand uh, blessing the house of God. But we really don't understand the detail, the mathematics of what we do and how it impacts uh, the kingdom of God. Amen. And so there were many scriptures that I could have went to. Uh, uh, but the Lord led me to God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. He led me to that. God loves a cheerful giver. And that's over in Second Corinthians, the ninth chapter. And we're going to be reading from that um, that chapter today. Amen. We're going to talk about church math. How, how, how does it all add up? Where is my place? And so he gave me the perspective of. Uh, the budget and how we write out. Y'all see the photo that I sent. Amen. How we write out our, our list and some don't, some do, but you should budget what comes in your, your, your uh, expenses and your income. Amen. And break down. How do you spend things? If you do a budget, it helps you. Well, Pastor, I don't make up too much of a profit. Then, well, you need to budget it because you might find something in there. Amen. That helps you uh, find money from where is it, sometimes it's not what you what you make. It's what you spend. And so you see your spending, your expense. Y'all know Susie Orman and all the different people that can tell you how to break down your budget for your house and what you do. They help you. Amen. But I come to explain the house of God and God's perspective on things. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let's go to Second Corinthians, the ninth chapter. Paul was uh, previously in Romans, the 15th and 25. You don't have to go there. I'm going to read it for you. Uh, he said in Romans 15, 25, but now I go to Jerusalem to minister unto the saints, uh, for it have pleased him of Macedonia and, and Archaea, uh, that, uh, to, to make a certain contribution for the poor saints that are at Jerusalem. Amen. And so, uh, not only was he preaching the gospel, not only was he telling the world about Jesus and his resurrection, death, burial and resurrection, but he was trying to help. Amen. We see in Acts that distribution was made to them that had need. None lacked. The church didn't lack. The people of God didn't lack. They had favor with God. And the one that gets me, they had favor with God and all the people. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. What what a goal. Amen. That we have really come short of in, in ministry and church. They had favor with God and all the people. Amen. They was all together. They had all things common. They worked together as a body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Bishop Roger Logan used to say all the time, our standing in God is absolutely perfect. Our positioning and where we are here on earth can be suspect sometimes. Amen. We'll go through different things and we'll have trials and tribulations, but where we stand with God can be absolutely perfect. Hallelujah. But we see here in the book of Acts that not only their standing with God was perfect. Amen. They had a great standing with the people because the people was one. Amen. The people was one together, working together. Amen. As a church, Lord Jesus, help us to be more like, amen, the first century church. Amen. My late friend, amen, Bishop Paulus, his model for his church was, amen, first, uh, 21st century church with first century power. Amen. Hallelujah. And God, I pray that we move closer and closer together as the original church, as God designed, as Peter, uh, Jesus told Peter, upon this rock, I shall build my church and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. So Paul was was going about preaching on his missionary journey. And so he writes a letter to the Corinthians to help them to get prepared to um, to give that offering. Amen. And give their um, their money and their, their giving for the overall ministry and how it helps everybody. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Okay. So he says uh, for as touching the, the ministering to the saints uh, to help everybody, all the believers. Amen. 
Hallelujah. It is superfluous. Amen. Unnecessary. I don't have to write this to you guys for me to write to you. For I know that the fullness of your mind for uh, which I boast of you to them of Macedonians, Arcadia. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, was ready a year ago. They had their monies and everything ready to go. And your zeal had provoked uh, very many. Amen. So I brag to you about the to other churches other places and I, I pray I didn't say it amen in vain and that you guys are ready yet I have sent the brethren uh, lest our boasting of you should be in vain on the on this behalf uh, that as I said ye may be ready amen lest happily if if they are Macedonians come with me and find you unprepared Amen. And there's so many scriptures, so many stories about the, the ten virgins, the five foolish, the five wise, wise that had their lamp trim and burning. They were prepared. Uh, um, um, uh, <laughs> uh, Cain and Abel. Amen. Hallelujah. When it's time of the sacrifice, Abel, the book of Hebrews tells us that it, they, they, that they had given a, a more acceptable sacrifice to God. It was accepted by God because Abel was prepared to give his uh, sacrifice and give his offering to God because he did it in preparation as a part of his life. Amen. He did it by faith with his faithfulness. Amen. And Cain wasn't ready. Amen. Oh, it's time. To, oh, wow. last running and grabbing stuff to just give to God, just pulling stuff. And it wasn't prepared it means you're not in relationship with me, which means it was a second thought. Y'all know young men, most of men, I, I, women don't y'all y'all better at this than we are. Amen. But young men, sometimes you, you forget something. You might forget an anniversary. You forget a, a pertinent time. Amen. Hallelujah. In, in your relationship and the young lady, she remembered the day, time, the temperature, the weather, which way the wind blew, who was standing on the corner, what kind of shoes they had on. Amen. And you are trying to forget you trying to remember the whole day. Amen. Hallelujah. Young man, he was telling me, I'm going to take my wife out to uh, it's our anniversary and I'm going to take her out and I'm going to spend this and I'm going to give this and I'm going to give that. And she was just looking, just shaking her head. And I said, sir, um, and I, you know, excused her. And I said, young man, it's, it's sentiment. You you have to, when, when it's anniversary time, you celebrate your relationship with her. Amen. So something she said, something that speaks to your relationship. Sentiment will take you further than just material things. My daddy told me a woman that will, will come to you because of material things will leave you. Amen. Jesus help me for all for material things. Amen. Hallelujah. So I learned to be attentive and listen. Y'all remember, I don't know y'all that watched the Cosby show and Theo and he wasn't getting along with his young lady. Amen. And, and he asked his dad for remedy. Amen. To to help them uh, get along in their relationship. And so. Um, so he said, OK, you want a remedy? He said, close your eyes. And he said, put out your hand. And he went and put honey and put flour. He put a whole bunch of stuff in there in his hand. And he said, uh, then he pushed it in his face and he said, say this. He said, OK, dad, I'm going to say this. He said, I will pay more attention to my to my lady. And he, said, and he kept saying about the third time Theo got it. Yeah, dude, just, just pay attention. Hallelujah. And so uh, in our relation, there's a lot of tricks and a lot of gimmicks and a lot of people say a lot of different things. And hey, amen, get the water from the Jordan get the get the cloth woven from the Orient amen if you do this you shall have success in your life amen a lot of those things and those tricks and parlor tricks amen are given to help that person that's talking amen hallelujah amen it has nothing that's another part of church math it has nothing to do with amen your success amen there's conversations that um, well I'm, I'm pulling the curtain back a little bit there's conversations that have been had before you even came to that church amen with the church and the speaker and the choir or the group or whoever's performing there as to how much of that service of the of the monies that that's going to go to this person and go to that person and, and the breakdown of it amen is part of church math as well amen so it's already been decided some some folk 
Excuse me. Some folk won't even darken the door without this, you know, this price and this, this and these things that need to be done. I don't know about y'all, but amen. I've seen some, some, some YouTube, amen, about different speakers and what they required, amen, before they even came to the church. Amen. Hallelujah. So you see a lot of different things going on and happening behind the scenes. Amen. Hallelujah. To, 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 to facilitate, amen, what we think is the need of the church, but it's, but it's very much so. Amen. The need of the person. But what Paul was doing here was working for the church to help feed the poor. Amen. To maintain the ministry and to keep things going. Amen. That's why I put the list down there, because sometimes we see a list as our things, what we need done. I need my rent paid. Amen. And you sure do. Amen. Light bills and utilities and all the different things. Amen. That we need in our life. And we put church on a list just like we put any other bill or any other thing that I have to pay. But it's so much more than that. It's so beyond. I'm jumping ahead of myself. It's so beyond. It's so vastly beyond that. Amen. Hallelujah. That God can take care of everything on your list. Amen. If you take care of God and you do what's uh, your responsible, amen, thing that you'll do for God and not doing it out of grudging, not doing it like it's a light bill. Man, I hate to pay. Man, with that money, I pay on that rent. Lord, I could do this and this and this and this. You know, it wasn't for that, the, the, the tithes, if you tithe. Amen. It wasn't for that offering. If it was, Lord, what I could do with that. Amen. But if we, if we see it as, amen, what it really is, my relationship with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Not my like an able relationship, not a cane relationship, just throwing it together. And it's me giving it to God. And why is God so loving and kind and require me and put that tax on me? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, to 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 keep me from progressing in life. But it's not that at all. Hallelujah. It's not that. It's just the opposite. Amen. Hallelujah. He came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor, you reading scripture. Yeah, I'm reading scripture right here. Amen. Hallelujah. Did he not say amen over there in Romans that that uh, the 15th chapter that he's going to go minister to Jerusalem? Hallelujah. He's going to serve. Minister means to serve, serve Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. To minister to the saints. Yeah. Preach the word and help. Amen. Where he can. Because many, especially the Jewish believers, amen, they were they were ostracized. They were kicked out. That's why they was in the upper room. They couldn't go home. Amen. Hallelujah. They had nowhere else to go. Amen. Hallelujah. They kicked them out. You're not of the Jewish faith. You got this new radical Christianity thing. You can't come back here. Amen. Hallelujah. So they worked together and they pooled they pool their money together. Amen. In the book of Acts. And they helped one another because they had nowhere else to go. Amen. But to Jesus. Amen. And sometimes God will put you, Bishop Logan again. Amen. Will put you in situations where you can only look up. Amen. Hallelujah. Where you can only look to him for deliverance and healing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, he said, for I sent the brethren, lest the boasting of you should be vain. Amen. In this behalf, that, as I said, you might be ready. The fourth verse says, less happily, if they by uh, of Macedonians come with me and find you unprepared. Amen. We, that is not to say ye, amen, should be ashamed in this same confident boasting. Amen. I'm boasting on you guys and you guys. I pray that you'll be ready when they, we come through to receive from you. Therefore, I thought it necessary to exhort the brother to lift up. Amen. To, to speak to the one with people of God. Amen. To exhort the brother that that they would go before you unto you and make a uh, beforehand for your bounty. Amen. For your giving whereof ye had noticed before. Amen. We've told you you knew it was coming and we asked for you to help. Amen. And you agreed to do so that the same might be ready as a matter of bounty. Amen. And not as covetousness. Amen. Just you bragging about something and you, you being uh, disingenuous. Amen. Hallelujah. Being hypocritical. But I, but this I say, amen. He which sow sparely shall reap also sparely. And, and, and he which, amen, sow bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He that soweth, amen. If you give little, that's what you're going to receive from God. You're going to receive little from God. Amen. Hallelujah. But if you give much, you're going to receive much from God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just basic. 
Amen. He that he that soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully. He that soweth sparingly shall reap sparingly. He was talking specifically to that situation. Because many people have brought that up. But it's the word of God. And all scriptures have been given for our inspiration to help us. Amen. To understand the divine way God has designed it for us as believers. And this is what they were doing in the first century church. Amen. And, and, and it's not all about money. It's not all about giving. Amen. Hallelujah. But it is important and it is a part of the process amen of our relationship with god amen hallelujah not just in prayer we should pray we should talk to him we should call on the name of the lord hallelujah thank you jesus but it's also in helping our community well pastor i give here through this program i give through this charity amen god bless you thank you so much amen and i'm sure they're grateful i'm not here to disparage anybody in what they do in their system and how they do it amen hallelujah but somebody might be here listening today that don't understand amen what the church needs as far as amen giving as as far as helping other people it's not just the light bill that the church has we we have a light bill just like everybody else we got water utilities just like everybody else has amen how did we have transportation y'all see that list amen everything on that list amen except me that word at the bottom amen hallelujah none of that it goes back into the church anything left over goes back into the ministry Thank you, Jesus, for the next month. Amen. Hallelujah. So we have that same list other than the personal list. Amen. Other than entertainment or other than whatever it is. Amen. That you spend on clothes or whatever. No, we don't do that. Amen. Hallelujah. It goes right back into. Amen. Hallelujah. Light bill and utilities and rent and all that kind of stuff and transportation and all that. Just see that as a as a ministry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See that as a ministry, transportation and, and the work of the ministry and, and put it, Lord Jesus, that savings. Lord, if, if there ever a day that we can put that word on there, hallelujah, have a savings. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and improve the church of God, the house of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That would be a, that would be such a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. That'd be a good problem to have. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So the seventh verse says, every man according to has a purpose in his heart. So let him get him or her. It's not, it's not, it's gender neutral. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, uh, every person that has purpose in their heart. So let them give. Amen. Not grudgingly or of necessity for God love a cheerful giver. Amen. Not because I'm in, not because of the, the need, not because amen. Hallelujah. Uh, but because I'm happy to give to God, I'm happy to give to the house of God. I'm happy to help the poor. I'm happy. We bought, we, we getting into the, re the season of Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm happy to provide food for the hungry. I'm happy to provide for agape food pantry. Amen. I'm happy to give to my church ministry. Amen. Because they're doing great work. Amen. For the community and for the world. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we we're grateful to the Lord. And it's not it's not what they do. It's it's my relationship with Christ. And, and that's the reason I give. Amen. And God is able to make all good grace abound toward toward you uh, that ye always having. Amen. All sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. What a powerful scripture. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen to that eight verse. And God is able to make all grace. Why is able there? Why doesn't he do it? Amen. Because of what we're we, the way we giving. Amen. We 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 hold the hit the hindrance back in our attitude and our demeanor and how we give. He loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. Thank you. Y'all have family members and friends. Amen. I need this for this and this. And you say, ah, here, man, come on, get out of my face. Leave me alone. Y'all know some of that wasn't. Amen. I love you here. I love for you to have it. It gives me joy for you to have it. No, some of that is please leave my presence now. Thank you. Please stop talking here. Hallelujah. Get away from me. Leave me alone. Hallelujah. You know, it's my last. And then you don't ask me for my last because you know it's there. You ain't happy till it's all gone. Hallelujah. And so it's our attitude. Amen. That's not a cheerful giver. Amen. Hallelujah. You might be right with them, but it's not right with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not getting in your business. I'm just saying. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know the situation. I'm just saying in our giving to God, it should come with joy. It should come with cheer. Amen. Just like I used to get upset when people like offering time, they start praise, they clap. 
I didn't like that. Now it's offering time and everybody was trained or, 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 the, the clap. Amen. At offering. I didn't like that. Amen. Until I understood the concept of being happy to give to the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I don't tell a guy to do it, but if they did it, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be upset. I let them do it on their own accord. We've had people that have been in here who probably came from one of those churches where they do that. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, uh, and then when it says offering time, time to give their clap. I say, all right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. A cheerful giver. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing wrong with doing that. Amen. Doctor, uh, not doctor, but well, hey, let's get, uh, Elder Thompson used to say, amen. He said, um, well, I had to pay this bill and pay that bill. He said, well, thank God that I had it to give it. Amen. To pay it. Amen. So he said he was even grateful that he had it to give or pay the bill or take care of that situation. Amen. And sometimes we need to just be thankful. Amen. And give God praise for the ability out of the son. And God is able, amen, to pay it. He has the ability, but we hinder our blessings in the way that we do it. Amen. Hallelujah. And to make all grace abound toward you that you always having all sufficiency in all things that you may have everything that you need financially. That you have everything that you need in your home, that you have everything that you need Amen. The car paid off. Just just imagine for a minute. I can only imagine just for a minute. Amen. Hallelujah. House paid, rent paid, all the things on your list taken care of. Amen. He's able to do it. He has the power. He has the, the authority to do it. Hallelujah. But we have to free ourselves and not hinder ourselves. Amen. In how we give. Amen. That it may abound to every good work that is written. He has despised, dispersed abroad. Amen. And have given to the poor. His righteousness remaineth forever. And now he that ministers seed to the sore, both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. We're talking Old Testament. Hallelujah on that. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We're talking uh, the ninth verses, Psalms one, Psalms one, one twelve and nine, and the, also the the tenth verse um, is Isaiah fifty five ten, Hosea ten and twelve. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so um, we see. Amen. That he in the, even in the Old Testament, those that give to the poor and God will multiply and bless you. Amen. And even in the Old Testament, because of your fruits uh, of righteousness, your fruits of your righteousness. Amen. Uh, the 11th verse says being enriched in everything, everything to all bountifulness. Amen. Which calls uh, causes through us thanksgiving to God. Uh, and so the more you give, I was going to put that song on, but that thing just was long. Amen. Old song says you can't beat God's giving no matter how hard you try. Amen. The more you give, the more he give to you. Just keep on giving. The Lord will see you through. You can't beat God's giving. They should sing that at offering time. No matter how hard you try. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Folks see that as angles and cons. Amen. And tricks. Amen. But no, it puts you in the right spirit of giving. There's a spirit of giving. Hallelujah. There's a spiritualness in giving. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what Paul was letting them know at, at Corinth. Amen. It's not just about paying something or, or putting something in a hat or a pan or whatever it may be or put it in the mail or cash out. Amen. Hallelujah. But it's about, amen, our 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 in our joy and our gladness to give to the house of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. While by the experiment of this ministration, they glorify God for your profession. Hallelujah. Professed subject subjection. Amen. Unto the gospel of Christ uh, for for your liberal dis, distribution, distribution. Excuse me. I uh, do know English. Amen. Unto them and to all uh, all men. So so what you give, it goes beyond us. 
Amen. It's go beyond the ministry. It goes beyond what you could do personally. Maybe you might know a neighbor or a friend or family member that you can give to. And I help people that's around me. I help people in my family. That's good. It's nothing wrong with that. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what we're supposed to do. We help as much as we can do. Amen. Pass it by hand and I will give it. And I pray, amen, that you have it to give. Amen. Not just to the church, but to help the poor and help people in your community, help your family members. Amen. Some people you know, amen, that will be grateful. Some people you know that will come back every 10 days. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They're like a bill. They come once every 30 days. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever the case may be. Amen. But God don't charge you for what people do to you or people ask you. They, he charges us for responsibility, having the ability to respond and not doing it. Amen. We are in his stead. We are we are ambassadors for Christ. Amen. We are kings and ambassadors. Amen. We represent Christ everywhere, even in our own home, even in our own family. Amen. And we are supposed to be that person. Amen. That 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 shows forth the praises of him who brought us out of darkness, even into this marvelous life. So, so it's, it's, it's that seed that you sow and you plant that one little seed and how much grows from that one seed. How many seeds that's in that one apple or one, one, whatever it is that you're planting and how far do that go? It goes far beyond what you as one person does. It helps a lot of people. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, so, and by their prayer for you, uh, which long after you for the exceeding grace of God in you. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Amen. His gift of Christ, his, his gift of the word, his gift of salvation. Amen. His, his, his gift of righteousness, his gift of holiness. Amen. Thanks be unto God for what he has provided. It's he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Some of you on this line, I know are good givers amen hallelujah i know some of you give out of your need amen and out of your relationship with him amen hallelujah amen hallelujah but in this church math and how we try to figure out how god's going to if i give god 10 i i need i need him to give me this this and this and this amen hallelujah but i'm in need of this and i'm not putting limits limits or boundaries on what i give to god Amen. That's a cheerful giver. That's sowing bountifully. Amen. Hallelujah. And giving it to God in my relationship with him. Amen. Hallelujah. And not grudgingly. Amen. Or as if it is mine in the first place. It's not mine. It belongs to the Lord. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Hallelujah. Church math. I just wanted to. Amen. The Lord led me to share with this. Amen. Church math. Amen. Hallelujah. How to break down, how to add. Amen. It's not on your list like everything else. It's not like the rent. It's not like the light bill. Hallelujah. It's not like the car payment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's not baby need a new pair of shoes. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. I thank you for saving me. Hallelujah. I thank you for being in my life. Hallelujah. And I'm and I'm sharing. Hallelujah. I'm giving back to you the old Thomas. Amen. Hallelujah. The Tommies. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Milton Brunson and Thompson Community Singers. I'm giving back to you all the tools you gave to me and I'm helping the, the ministry, the kingdom get bigger and better and greater and to help somebody along this life's journey. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Love you in Jesus name. Put in your prayer requests so we can pray with you and for you. In the name of Jesus, I know everybody, when you start talking about giving, amen, everybody, oh, here we go. I knew that's why they did this. I knew that's no, no, that's not everybody. That's not everybody. Amen. People, some, there are some churches that's here for the kingdom. Amen. How to live. Some people that are here, amen, to bless people. Yes, there's some people that come and tear your church up. Amen. Don't care about you. Don't care about the church. Hallelujah. They're there. Amen. They're, the Bible calls them a hireling. Amen. They're hirelings. They'll come in. Amen. Hallelujah. And lay the place because they're professional preachers. Hallelujah. They're professional. They know what to say to you. They know what to tell you to get that money from you. They'll walk in there and know exactly how much they can get out of there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So be careful because everybody that that comes in there, amen, and they and they they're gifted in preaching, amen. But it's also, but their purpose is money, 
Uh, absolutely. But there's some people that love God. Some people that can't put two nickels together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They give all they can and, and, and do all they can for the kingdom and for God's people to help the ministry, the work of the ministry, edifying of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. So you got to let the spirit lead you and, 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 and who's in it for what they can get out of it, but who's in it. Amen. For what God can get out of it. Jesus help me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just want the kingdom of God to be prevalent and to be successful in the lives of God's people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That takes this thing real and, and because they know God is real. A fool have said, I'm going to stop on this one. A fool have said in his heart or her heart, there is no God. So to be foolish is to act like it belongs to you. To act like you belong to you. We are bought with a price, purchased with his blood. A fool takes money from God's people and uses it for their own purposes. Because you're acting as if God don't see you. Sliding a little bit on the side. Sneaking money here and doing things here financially with the people. And they're giving all they have to give. They, they catching the bus. Some walking to church. And, and, and you, you ain't going to say it. I was about to say it. I almost got out. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And you riding good. I'll just say it like that. Hallelujah. Uh, you, you riding good. Amen. And not even concerned. Probably drive right by them on the way to church. Hallelujah. But when you get there, you want their last 20. And some, and some, some of these things, judgment shall begin at the house of God. So when you find somebody that's given, when you find a church that's working for the kingdom, amen, give bountifully, saints. Hallelujah. Give bountifully and help the kingdom of heaven. Amen. God bless you. I don't see any prayer requests. I'm just going to pray. Father, we ask for your divine hand upon your people. Bless Zebedee on his birthday, Lord God. Give him a special gift on his day. Unwrap it just for him. Lord God, hallelujah. And all the people of God everywhere, whatever the need is, those that are giving out of their need, Lord God, hallelujah. They need it, but yet they're going to give it to the house of God because they understand not to receive it back, but be because we know that the house of the Lord needs it. Amen. And we thank you. We praise and magnify your holy name. We thank you for those that understand giving. Amen. And understand their relationship with you, Lord God. And I pray that somebody heard something today that would help them. Amen. Hallelujah. In their walk with you, not just praising and worshiping you, Lord God, but hallelujah. And putting, amen, something on the table, giving their time in their community and amen, helping somebody in their community, Lord God. Hallelujah. Giving service and ministering to their community. Y'all have to be a preacher, amen, to preach. I don't have to be a minister to serve, amen. And I serve the community, Lord God. We ask you, bless, touch, and deliver right now. All those, Lord God, that are in need of finances, that's down to their last dime, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus, need, in need of help. Lord God, Lord God, open up the wind of heaven, pour them out a blessing. They don't have room enough to receive. Lord God, move by the power of your holy word. Touch and deliver, Lord God. Hallelujah. Bless the homes and the family. Those that are homeless, those that are living outside, living in the woods. It's about to get cold. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. Bless them, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help them give to ministries and churches so that, amen, hallelujah, amen. They, they can give to the ministry that's providing housing and providing, amen, rent money and helping people to stay in their homes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Those without those without and those within move touch and deliver Lord god hallelujah move like only you can amen we know that you're able lord god hallelujah help us to loose those chains and loose the confinements that we're doing anything to hinder our blessings uh, financial physical mental whatever it may be hallelujah if we're doing anything to hinder our blessings lord god hallelujah lord god we ask you to remove everything that's stopping us from progressing and being in the same place this year that i was last year last october the first I, I was still dealing with the same situation hallelujah that i was dealing with last october 1st hallelujah last year this time and lord god help us lord god hallelujah to be delivered and break through Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Every curse, every chain. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We speak deliverance. Hallelujah. You give power to the faint and them that have no might. You, you, you increase strength. Move, touch, and deliver right now your people, Lord God. 
Hallelujah. Help us not try to figure it out. Why are we trying to figure it out? You already worked it out. Why are we grabbing a calculator and trying to count up the cost of things, Lord God? And we, we ask for your divine hand, hallelujah, because eyes have not seen, ear have not heard, neither have entered in the hearts of men them that prepare for them that love you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Your math says all things work together for them that love good. Hallelujah. Them are the, they're the love God. Them are called according to your purpose. Hallelujah. Your math says one should chase a thousand, two can put ten thousand to flight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your math is beyond calculation. It's innumerable. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You said prove me this day and see when I open up the window and pour out a blessing. I, I don't have room enough to receive. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless us right now to understand this thing and all our getting. Help us to get understanding, God. Hallelujah. And do what you say. And we will be blessed that we may hear the word of the Lord and be blessed in the name of Jesus. We pray that you provide the every home and every family with everything they need and the agape home and agape family with everything they need. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Move, touch and deliver by the power of your holy word. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name. I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. Thank you all for being with us on this broadcast. If I fit in anybody, y'all give me a call. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll talk about it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you. We thank God for you. And thank God for being with you on this noonday prayer. Every Tuesday through Friday, noonday prayer. Wednesday night Bible class. Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Amen. Is our Sunday morning worship service. Join us as we go through the scriptures. Amen. And share what the Lord has given to us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Our closing scripture. First Timothy. First chapter 17. Verse now to the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape way. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name, and I'll see you next time. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invites you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Budenite Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.